Hello, everyone, and welcome to AEW Dark. I'm Excalibur, and as always, joined by the human suplex machine, Taz. And Taz, we have an incredible night of action in store for everyone. Correct, Excalibur, I'm fired up because Ricky Starks, Brian Cage tagging up Team Taz members in this episode. And much to my chagrin, Negative One will be joining us on commentary a little later. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but let us not waste a moment more of time and throw it down to Justin Roberts standing by inside the ring. This bout is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Sao Paulo, Brazil, weighing 259 pounds, Scissor Bononi. Scissor Bononi's bad to the bone, baby. Just read his belly. But you can't, he's walking away. But he comes back out if he comes. If well, he comes if back. If he comes back out. Uh, oh. While Cesar Bononi is coming out with the sleigh of love, as we call it. While Cesar Bononi is making his <laughs> entrance, wanna. I want to give a special shout out to our colleagues, Tony Schiavone and Paul White, after their successful debut episode of AEW Dark Elevation Hold last on a night. Did they shout us out? You and I know. I mean, I, you know, I know Paul White a long time. Schiavone, I'm getting to know him now. All right, what would you say? Uh, I was going to try to make a segue talking about what happened on Elevation last night, but oh, you, still you, can. you stepped all over it, just yeah, like you step on Justin Roberts. So. I'll, I'll wait to make that point after this intro. See, Justin, I'm laying out for you. And his opponent, weighing 275 pounds, Luchasaurus. The Marco Stunt really wants a piece of them, and tell us why, Excalibur. Uh, last night on AEW Dark Elevation, Marco Stunt was defeated by QT Marshall, and after the match was over, from uh, just out, out of nowhere, Pretty Peter Avalon, Cesar Bononi, and Ryan Nemeth all began attacking Marco's stunt. Luchasaurus coming to Marco's aid, and Marco would like a piece of Cesar Bononi, but it'll be Luchasaurus getting his hands on the big Brazilian here tonight. A lot of people don't like Marco's stunt in the locker room. They don't like him, and that's why. That's why. Taz, you ever had a big Brazilian? And pardon? Uh, no, the short answer is no. Okay. But I like Texas Day's Brazil. Cesar Bononi hits the ropes. Luchasaurus goes for the trip. Leapfrog up and over the top. Luchasaurus, quick step. Ooh, a little thrust kick to the jaw. A jump and thrust kick. Two big bulls right here. Anthony, it's not often that Luchasaurus is facing a competitor the same size as him. No, not at all. Not at all. And, and Bononi is every bit as big as. Luchasaurus, I think Luchasaurus has uh, the advance in, um, sorry, added advantage in agility and speed. ugliness. He's very ugly. Where Benoni is a very handsome man mm. from Brazil. Stud. Yeah, stud, bad to the bone. Read his Hunky stud. Pardon me? Why he was, oh! Ho, ho. That's why he was recruited by, uh, by well, Peter Avalon. Well, Peter Avalon only deals with, with people that are beautiful people. Not ugly people, no disrespect. That's ugly. why oh. you won't leave me and Taz alone back there. That's right, Taz. buddy. That's it. Peter's never talked to me before. Oh, you wear a mask. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> and look at this, Peter Avalon once again, grabbing the boot of Luchasaurus. But Cesar Bononi takes advantage, hits a drop kick to the face of Luchasaurus. Love the sweatpants and the sneakers with the smoking jacket by Avalon. And the t-shirt. I think he should be wearing boxes, but that's just, I just never think that would be funny. Not boxes like Anthony, you know. Shorts. Uh, Some jokes fall flat on their face. Especially when the play-by-play -play guy just lays out and lets you crumble. Cesar <laughs> 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 Bononi content to let Luchasaurus beat the count. And Rick yeah, Knox. Yeah. Get him, Avalon. Tension is diverted. Uh oh. Luchasaurus. Oh, Ooh. man. Cesar Bononi with that double sledge right between the shoulder blades of Luchasaurus. Good quickness by Bononi. Oh. Ooh. Great strength there from Bononi. Yeah, Anthony, it's not often we see Luchasaurus manhandled like this. Not at all. Hard to do, you know, with someone as big as Luchasaurus. He is a big, strong, 
dinosaur for sure. He's calling for the big clothesline, Benoni. Benoni. Wow. Turned him inside out. With the cover here, hooks the far leg. Luchasaurus able to kick out. But he can't withstand many more shots like that, Taz. No, no, it, it, that's not going to, you know, especially as you point out, an athlete just about the same size as Luchasaurus. It's going to be tough. And he's wearing out the back, but only stopping on the low back. Cesar Benoni bringing Luchasaurus up and driving him down the hard way. Cover here, both legs hooked. Luchasaurus able to kick out. I wonder if Dinosaurs clean their teeth. No, no. His mouth has got a green mouth, Luchasaurus. Yeah, he's, he has an odor on him too. He smells like a, like a dingy forest. <laughs> he smells like a rancid forest. That's yeah. what the man smells like. The dinosaur smells like. Luchasaurus rancid, rancid. Google it. Hoping, uh, hoping to emerge from the primordial ooze. Uh oh. Oh! oh wow. The teep sends Benoni in. The headbutt drops him down. Cesar Benoni very unsteady here. Oh, right and left. He might smell, but he sure can fight. Whoa! <laughs> Taz Forrest was the word that you were saying, right? No. Oh, the corkscrew oh. kick! Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Peter Avalon being throttled here. Oh, my God. Referee, can you stop this mayhem and protect Peter Avalon? Cesar Bononi just wow. a jumping boot across the face. Cover here, one, two. Whoa, so close. And that's wow, that's really. got to be what, a size 14, 15 boot? Definitely, but that was, yeah, that was really close though. I mean, like super duper close. Cesar Bononi <laughs> inches away from victory here and pretty Peter Avalon. Apoplectic on the side there. Yeah, doing some promotion for his new shirt on shopaew.com, but Cesar Bononi. Just rocked Avalon inadvertently and gets cratered by Lucha Sor Whoa, Oh, wow. Wow, another big kick out by the other man in this one. I was sure that was all over then. Yeah, no doubt. Cesar Benoni kicking out, but you can see he's a, he's a little rattled by that. Expectedly so. Lucha Soros, maybe thinking choke slam. But Benoni has other ideas. Ooh. Big digging right hand there across the jaw of Benoni. Go punch for punch, these two big bulls. Knee to the midsection. Cesar Benoni, he's calling his shot. The miss and all oh, the hook kick by Luchasaurus. Oh! <laughs> oh. And the standing moonsault press for good measure. Two, three. No winner of this match, Luchasaurus. Luchasaurus picks up the victory here tonight. And Marco Stunt out to congratulate his friend, his fellow member of Jurassic Express. And what a back and forth battle this was. But ultimately, at the end, Luchasaurus able to put away Cesar Bononi and pick up the victory here on AEW Dark. That's a strong win for the dinosaur. Women's action coming up right now. It's legit, by the way. Legit Layla Hirsch in action right now. This is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring originally from Moscow, Russia, Legit Layla Hirsch. Legit Layla Hirsch returning to action here tonight on AEW Dark. She had a disappointing exit in the first round of the AEW Women's World Championship Eliminator Tournament, but has a huge opportunity to start rebuilding here tonight. 
her opponent originally from Charlotte, North Carolina, Savannah Evans. Well, definitely, uh, Layla is giving up a lot of height here. Look at the size, the size difference. Definitely giving up a lot of size, not just height, you know. So, oh, oh, oh Layla! Oh, oh wow! Oh, oh, that was oh, 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 smart by her. You just already her her hips. Layla's hips are already under her opponent just from standing. So it's a good opportunity to suplex the person. That's why I think she did that right away. So I love about Layla Hirsch. She doesn't care if she's giving away six inches, 12 inches, giving away 10 pounds, 20 pounds. She just wants to fight, and she will smash you up. She went for that outside drop toe hold, but Evans put a, put the brakes on. Layla got the elbow into the face of Evans, but Evans oh. showing off her power there. Yeah, yeah big, that strong was guy. Definitely, that was uh, raw bone. That was <laughs> that was no joke the way Evans did that. Now he's not playing around, Evans. Right hand. Being delivered there by Evans. Savannah Evans keeping the pressure on Layla Hirsch here in the early going. Very smart strategy. I mean, I just just to coach it up. If I was Evans, I, I would have probably grabbed a snatch the tight hold right away. Once you had Layla Hirsch down and out a little bit, hook a strong hold, a choke, or a strong armbar to just keep Layla. I understand Layla's real good on the mat, don't get me wrong, but it's a good opportunity. But, you know, then again, the beatdown's working for Evans. Yeah, Savannah Evans really had an opportunity to, to press the, uh, the the leverage advantage. Right, right. But she's got a mean streak, this Evans, and Layla Hurst, we've seen her, you know, she's very resilient. She can take a lot of pain, but Evans is dishing out the pain. Oh, baby! And I think that just woke up legit yeah. Layla Hirsch. Woke her up or pissed her off, either one. Oh. But Savannah Evans using that against Hirsch. The scoop and the slam, and you could hear Layla Hirsch having trouble breathing here. Well, oh. that's a big drop. Irish whip into the corner. Savannah Evans, nobody home. Oh. Big elbow strike dropped Evans and Hirsch, the double knees. And oh, ho, ho, ho. pair of boots into the chest. Layla Hirsch. Whoa! Wow. wow. Tremendous power on display. Keep that pressure on now. You have the bigger opponent on the mat. That gives away the size. I would not have let her get to her feet if I was Layla. Oh, Layla Hirsch. Good strength right there. Sends into the ropes. Evans, though. Layla Hirsch delayed a little bit too oh. long on that, on that middle rope. Right on that banged up shoulder, too. Might have Evans it. covers, no. This is a great match. I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this match. Two strong women giving it their all. This has been a back and forth. Oh. oh, wow. Did you see nice how Savannah kick. Evans' yeah. leg just oh. collapsed under her? Another running strike. And Layla Hirsch. Oh, look at this. Into the cross arm breaker. Immediately, Savannah Evans taps out. The winner of this match, legit Layla Hirsch. As we've seen Layla Hirsch lock in that Juju Katami. Yeah. And when she does, when she gets it locked in, her opponents you. tap out almost immediately. I'm gonna make you proud. Well, I promise I'm gonna make you proud. Well, the Juju, you know, when you get it locked in right, it really pulls the opponent's bicep apart. So it was spot by average. She had no choice but to tap as fast as she did. You'll see right here the Juju Katami. She rolled through. She was, oh. she was on top, goes to the top of her opponent's head. Once she turned to the side, that's where the pressure really is. Yeah, put it some, yeah. All, all that pressure, not only on the elbow, but the shoulder as well. Sure. The main part is definitely the bicep, you know? That's why people tap right away in it, because you don't want to tear your bicep, and that move can do it to you. Oh, oh look, whoa, at, look at this here. Vicky Guerrero getting in the face of legit Layla Hirsch. Wow. A little, little bit of extracurriculars here, but Layla Hirsch, your victor here tonight on AEW Dark. Coming up next, big singles action here as the Dark orders John Silver goes one-on-one -on -one with John Schuyler next here on AEW Dark. Join the Dark Order.
This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring, weighing 179 pounds, John Silver. Big singles match coming up here as John the meat Silver. man of the Dark Order. The meat man. He's jacked with his offs. God, I love the beard game of John Silva. Oh, negative one. Negative one, nice. Making an entry, yeah. Rolling in. In all sorts of ways he goes in. Dip up, rolls. Second and top rope. Double through most musculars. And his opponent from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing 207 pounds, John Schuyler. John Schuyler. And his return here to AEW Dark. This should be a pretty interesting matchup. Both competitors uh, pretty Evenly matched in the, the strength and speed department, though Silver maybe maybe a step quicker. I don't know. I think Silver's got a. Oh, he's he's ungodly strong for a man of his size. Hey, he certainly makes them makes the most of it. As he uh, oh look at that, Silver. Whoa. And agile. Yeah, great step. Up. Wow, John Silver not nice. showing, not relying on his strength. He's he's working on his working with his agility he here. Tries it. It's like his arms are upside down. His triceps <laughs> are bigger than his biceps. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thick arms, some thick shoulders. Nice round kick right to the chest. His yeah. tricep game is his oh. ear game. This tricep game, Kevin. John Silver. I wonder if he uses beard oil. Got to talk to him about that. Anyway. Oh, man. Really lighten up Skyler there. Johnny's hungry. Johnny hungry. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's locked in. Skyler's got to try to revert. Oh, there you go. Irish whip. Yeah, reverse there. Something. Silver elevates up and over the top, and Skyler anticipated. Nice. Good job by Skyler. Rolls Whoa. through. Oh, sits out with the senton. Great combination there, and he just follows it up with some mounted right hands. Strong punches right there. Yeah, spit it out there, brother. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Let it fly, Saliva City. Taz, a big fan of expectoration. Yeah, love it. Spit everywhere. Right hand to the body, followed up by a couple elbows. Silver. Ooh! Followed him right up, man. That was nice. Stopped. Silver in his tracks to John Schuyler right there. If yeah, you don't let John Silver like, get any momentum, so he followed him in, he cut him off before, press. He, before he got a chance to like, propel himself off those off those cable cable ropes. Nice uh, reverse gut wrench right here. Old school hold. Now here's the key to grip. That S grip is locked right in the intercostal area, rib cage, little muscle area of your ribs. That's the key with that reverse gut wrench. It's not his arm, it's not Schuyler's arm, it's the grip. Folks on the intercostal region. Back. That's, that's where you get the big bucks, Taz. Eh, I don't Expert like the Expert analysis. Well, you know, sometimes I get it right. <laughs> the back elbows there oh, by Silver. <laughs> Breaking like, the grip of Skyler. Almost like a rabbit punch, but like a rabbit slap. There is such a thing. Elbow from John Silver teeing off on Scott. Ooh. Sure, top of cup. Yeah, pop under the jaw. But I mean, uh, those those shots under the jaw make your make your teeth clench together. They can, they can rattle you too. Yeah, and they can they can uh, like sprain your jaw. It's not, it wasn't big enough to break your jaw, but will certainly sprain your jaw and lock your jaw. Jumping knee strike there. But oh, how quick, how quick! Watch here, here we go, incoming. Oh, the boot across the back of the head. Silver. Hoist up, Skyler sends him for a ride. Might have it. Hooks the far leg to. Three. Yep. No winner of this match, John Silver. Very aggressive victory by John Silver. That's how you do it. He amped it up. He, he accelerated up. <laughs> got the oh, <laughs> negative one. Get him out of your ring. <laughs> that was tremendous. Yeah, when he gets going, John Silver, there's, there's not many better than him in AEW. Oh, there isn't I agree. many at all. I agree. John Silver, victorious here tonight, and this. It was the beginning of the end there for John Schuyler. Great view of that finishing move by Silver. Now he pushed him away so Schuyler landed harder. He got the victory. And he pushed him towards the center of the ring as well. Indeed. For as, uh, as goofy as John Silver may seem. 
some impressive strength and intelligence shown by the Meat Man. Well, we got ladies action coming up right now on AEW Dark. Tasha Price collides with Penelope Ford with Kip Sabian in her corner. That's right now. This bout is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Chelsea, Michigan, Tesha Price. Kaz, before this match gets underway, what about Dynamite tomorrow night? The main event, the unsanctioned lights out match. The first time ever on Dynamite between Thunder Rosa and Dr. Britt Baker. Yeah, no, this, this, this has been brewing with Rosa and Baker for quite some time now. I can't wait to see it, man. It's gonna be heavy. And her opponent being accompanied to the ring by Kim Sabian from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Penelope Ford. Super bad girl. Penelope Ford returning to action here tonight on AEW Dark. Remember back at Revolution, though, Taz, it was Miro and Kip Sabian taking on Orange Cassidy and Chuck Taylor. And at one point, it seemed like there was going to be, uh, I don't know, some hostility between Penelope and Miro. She didn't appreciate how things went down that night. And since then, it seems to have been an icy relationship. Yeah, definitely tension for sure. That was some match that it was more or less a handicap match for a lot of the match because Chuck Taylor was on his own for a lot of it. And then Orange was able to recover from the attack backstage. Yeah, Chuck Taylor is battered and bloodied. He has challenged Kip and Miro for one more match. We might hear yeah. from Kip Saving and Miro tomorrow night on Dynamite. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Kick blocked there by Penelope Ford. Yeah, Price missing a couple of those kicks. Nice flexibility that Price had, but Penelope one step ahead. Nice chop. Yeah, she really stepped into that one, too. Sure did. Uh-oh. I think it was, was reaching behind for the head of Penelope. Penelope able to avoid it. And, oh, great back elbow there by Tesha Price. Yeah, see, a lot of people realize Tasha Price, she is just loaded with energy and excitement and exuberance. She's just, <laughs> she really is. I mean, uh, I've watched her a lot when she's just ringside watching the matches uh, when she's not competing, and she is just always, oh! always fired up. And that was some shot. Penelope Ford just cracking Tasha Price across the jaw. And now the boot just across the throat and then repeated stomps to the chest on the outside. Yeah, Penelope, uh, despite her beauty, and uh, oh! you know, she is, for those that know her and have watched her over the years and, and fans of hers, they know she's got a mean streak, this girl. And I think, you know, her and Kip Sabian, their relationship, real life relationship. Cover here, hook the far leg, does Penelope. I think they're both really great people. Some think they're both very mean people. Uh, I think, what do you think, Excel? Do you have an opinion for once on uh, something? I'm going to stay neutral on this one. I think oh, uh, shocking. Chuck Taylor, Orange Cassidy, and Trent have some very strong feelings. Oh! Ooh. Do you ever get tired of being neutral your whole life? Hey, some of the best people I know are neutral. They're Swiss. Hey, you know what? Touche. I'll give you that one, bro. Hey, we get great viewership from Switzerland. Hey, I love the Swiss. You kidding me? I, do too. I love it over there. Holland people, everybody. The Dutch? No, no, they <laughs> they prefer Holland people. Right, you know, I know. I just put them over. You know. Tasha Price from Chelsea, Michigan. Holland, Michigan is also a city. Yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> sure oh! oh, oh, oh. There we go. Penelope might get the win here. Two. And oh, no. Tasha Price not out of this one yet. I'll tell you, like I was saying, Penelope is on point. She looks great. I mean, her offense has been on point for sure. Intensity, as always, for Penelope. That's your price, ever the fighter. But not enough, maybe, to deal with Penelope Ford. Oh, look at that. Nobody oh, home. Nice, nice roll through by Price to get out of the way. High round kick connects. Oh, nothing there. Taz, we. We mentioned the, the unsanctioned lights out match in the main event tomorrow night on Dynamite between Thunder Rosa Ooh. and Dr. Britt Baker, but that back heel kick just dropped Tesha Price. What about the huge tag team match? John Moxley and Eddie Kingston taking on the Good Brothers tomorrow night. Oh! Yeah, I definitely, I, I can't wait to see that. Hold on. Two, three, wow. 
the winner of this match, Penelope Ford. Well, that was a nice win right there for Penelope. Good job. Kip's proud of her. It was a good match by both ladies. I mean, Tessa Price, something to be ashamed of there. She held her own, but Penelope, oh, blocked the lips right there. Good Fresh. match. Oh, great effort, that heel kick. How do we go to replays on the makeout session? I mean, how do we go to replays? Uh, you know, some of okay. my friends, I love watching the makeout. Tess, you can just, you know what I mean? You can just look over the monitor and see if they're, uh, are they gonna do it again? Oh, yeah. Are they gonna do it again, Tess? Oh, uh, I kissed her nose. Well, look, that's when you love someone, you kiss their nose, you kiss their eyes, you kiss inside their ear, you kiss on the top of their throat. Can we get a redo on that one? Kiss, <laughs> you kiss their kneecap, you can kiss their Achilles, kiss, kiss their kiss their ass. You can kiss their ass. That's my joke. <laughs> I was doing the whole build-up. <laughs> the creepy, the kooky, the altogether ooky chaos project <laughs> will be in tax action. Going one. up next. This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring at a combined weight of 430 pounds, Luther Serpentico Chaos Project. Taz, we've got a big tag team match in store for us coming up next. Well, coming up right now, actually. But what about tomorrow night on Dynamite? It will be John Moxley and Eddie Kingston teaming up to take on the Good Brothers. Yeah, you know what? It, it, it's interesting. I mean, we've seen how the battles are when Kingston, when he can collide with Moss. We've seen that. We've witnessed the names and all the years of their friendship. But now, as a cohesive unit, as a team against the Good Brothers, yeah, it's going to be pretty heavy, dude. It's going to be nasty with those four men. Oh, whoa! Oh! Jake St. Patrick and Fuego del Sol. Getting jumped before the bell even rings. Luther sending St. Patrick into the corner. Ooh. Nice, strong clothesline. Nowhere for St. Patrick to go in that corner. Another one. Justin didn't get even a chance to do the ring introduction. St. Patrick, just hours before St. Patrick's Day, getting decked by Luther. Yeah, I don't I don't get the feeling Serpentico and Luther celebrate St. Patty's Day. Oh! Inverted vertical suplex onto St. Patrick using Serpentico. Serpentico with the lateral press just a one count. You don't think uh Luther and Serpentico, big corned beef and cabbage guys? No. no I could Luther see loves cabbage. Luther definitely probably, because anything gassy, Luther likes. So Swamps. cabbage, yeah, yeah, gassy, gassy food. You can see Saturn. probably he's a big, uh, what do you call that when you have a lot of gas? You know, uh, uh, flashlights? Flashlights, big flashlights guy. Oh, Luther wow. just slams Serpentico. Serpentico's head against St. Patrick's head. Luther Bob! <laughs> Luther. As St. Patrick up and just planted him. One, two, no. Fuego del Sol breaking up the pinning predicament. Wow, Fuego coming in out of nowhere. Fuego coming off hot with that match that he had with QT Marshall. Remember that? Yeah, of course you do. You helped follow with me. Was the, was the pun intended? Fuego coming in hot? No. I didn't. I just, I have right. puns. Uh, I have fun with pun. A pun with the fun. Well, the, oh, this is a kick. Takes Luther off his feet. Serpentico gets dropped. Fuego del Sol is firing on all cylinders. Oh, okay, I see what we're doing. Launching off that chair. Oh, oh, my God! <laughs> Fuego avoids disaster there like a flamethrower. I don't get it. Like a torch thrower. Oh, all okay, right. okay, okay. Uh, he's looking for that tornado DDT. He's got it! Oh! He got it! Luther gets planted. Fuego! One! One. Two, no! I can't believe it, Taz. We gotta get different writers. <laughs> We're writing the same stuff. We're reading the same stuff. Well, that was uh, very, oh! oh gosh, that was great by Luther to just drop St. Patrick off that apron. Jumping knee strike to the, the midsection on Luther. The pump kick, though, right on the money. That was nicely done. Serpentico tags in. Luther's got him up, and it could be the creeping death for Fuego del Sol. Oh, buddy. Oof. Serpentico covers, hooks the far leg, and that is it. No winners of this match. Chaos Project.
Well, Taz Chaos Project didn't waste any time here tonight. They picked up a very emphatic victory. I tell you, they've been quite the team, man. Chaos Project, I remember way back when they put this thing together, these two men. They put this team together, I should say, and you know, we, we didn't think much of it. But they have really, we've seen them on Dynamite, obviously been dominant on Dark, you know, They've done really, really well. As wild and wacky as they are, it, it works, man. They're creeping death right here. Shout out to Serpentico for the custom chaos project, man. Really like that. He gave you one? No, I'm just saying, from one, one masked man to another. Oh, stop. I'll get my friend Super Strong Suplex Machine. He'll show you a mask. One day he'll be on the show. show I like what a mask see that. Like, y'all, it'll happen. Look at those teeth. You better go see Dr. Britt Baker. Luther needs a teeth cleaning. Or an extraction. Just get rid of all of them. We got ladies action coming up right now. Kylie King against Jasmine Allure right now. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. From Painesville, Ohio, here is Kylie King. Taz, not such a big fan of Painesville, Ohio. I like suffering a little more. Story of my life, pain and suffering. I don't want to bring the audience down. Kylan King is fired up, ready to go. There we go, Justin, anytime. <laughs> and her opponent from Orlando, Florida, Jasmine Allure. Thank you, sir. You got to count him in, though. Can smell this great cologne from here. Do have a nice breeze here tonight. Jasmine Allure, Kylan King set. Go one on one here tonight. Standing switch there by Kylan King. Yeah, nice job. And Matt return right there by Kylan King. You know, Allure's given up. She's given up uh, some size here to Kylan King. But a uh, good move there, though, by Allure, getting her uh, sitting out with it, getting back up to a vertical base quickly. Sure thing. Well, oh, oh, smart. You know, King put the brakes on and Allure caught it. Just a toe kick to the midsection, but Allure rolls up barely a one count. Over the shoulders and now chopping at the outside of the leg of Kylan King, looking at that, that IT band. Drop kick to the top of the knee. She's attacking the left knee for sure to your point. Ooh, kick right to the face. Cover hook of the far leg. Just a two count for Jasmine Allure. Look at these ground to pound shots right now by Allure. Kylan King doing a good job covering up there. No doubt. And Taz, you know, a lot of times if you, when, when you cover up like that with your elbows out, if your, your opponent's hammering down with those forearms, they can actually do more damage to their arms than they do to you. Cover here, though. Yeah, well, no, your fist, you could break your hand. No problem. You punch someone in their elbow or a strong part of their, hard part of their forearm. As they're covering up, yeah, you could definitely break a knuckle or two. Look at these shots. Jasmine Allure lighting up Kylan King. Well done. King, though, creating some distance. Allure, though, middle kick. Rolls through Kylan King. To, oh, kick to the back. It's interesting right there. On. And, you know, a little, little bit of a flourish there, Taz, but. You know, I think I think a snapmare kick to the spine combo is a. I mean, that's an old standby for a reason. Yeah, no, it is. Definitely is. And you see right now, Laura again. She's not worried that she's given up that size, but oh, what a shot! Kylan King backing Allure into the ropes with those chops. Reversal there by Jasmine Allure. But Kylan King ran right through her. The second clothesline and the hammer. Sledgehammer across the chest. Oh! Tell you, we saw Britt Baker win Most Improved Wrestler in 2020. You know, Kylan King, maybe maybe she's on her way of being uh, <laughs> Most Improved in 2021. Kylan Look King that. looking great. Very confident. I love it. I love the confidence. Let's see if she's going. She might be going Could for be the big the giant swing. swing. Yeah, big giant swing. Wow, Kylan King. Look at this. I mean, I'll tell you, that's a lot of revolutions, man. Yeah, 10 revolution giant swing. Jasmine Allure, very, very dizzy, as is King. Kylan King with a chance, though. Charging. Oh! 
little bit overzealous for Colin King and she she ate a boot. Yeah, she wasted a little too much time. That Cazadora here, hold on. Rolls through. Oh. Kylan King face first. Jasmine Allure hooks the far leg. Just a two count though. King landed hard on the face right there. And Allure was a little frustrated she didn't get the, the victory. Oh man. She's got some temper, this girl. Jasmine Allure charging in. Another Cazadora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kylan King, Kingdom falls. Nice there too much. One, two, two, three. She went for that second one. She got caught. The winner of this match. Kylan King. Great. Impressive, impressive. Yeah, great counter and an impressive victory there by Kylan King. As you mentioned, Dr. Britt Baker, she will be in action tomorrow night on AEW Dynamite for the first time ever. An unsanctioned match in our main event on Dynamite, Britt Baker versus Thunder Rosa. That big swing right there to counter off the Casadora. That was early, and then you see this right here, just driving her face first. The law landed so hard. King tops her for the victory. The Kingdom Falls was the end of the night for Jasmine Allure. Kylan King, your winner. We didn't even really get to touch on you and Sean Spears. How's your back? It's a little bit sore. Oh my God. <laughs> What's up? I want to talk about wrestling with the week. Whatever we have interest in, we're going to chop it up. Did you get the PS5? Ugh. I'm over here all weekend playing PS4 like a heathen. <laughs> Scorpio Sky and myself, James Willems, we got distracted. We're gonna be talking about video games. We're gonna be talking about pop culture. Have you seen the New York Subway Rat Man? What? <laughs> We're gonna be recapping AEW. It's the most exciting part of the show. <laughs> We're basically gonna be talking about the week. We got a lot to get into, man. It's also what the people wanna see. <laughs> oh my God. Voila. This is progress. Scorpio Sky, James Willems, wrestling with the week. Wrestling with the week. It's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe now. Woo. It's beautiful. I love it. Big multi-man tag team matchup is Evil Uno, Stu Grayson, number five, and Colt Cabana of the Dark Order in action next. Join the Dark Order. This is an eight-man tag team match set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Approaching the ring, the team of Evil Uno, Stu Grayson, Allen Five Angels, and Colt Boom Boom. Cabana! Well, Taz, it wouldn't be AEW Dark without the Dark Order. Uh, it's a massive faction. It's a mass, well, it's more of a fa more of a family than a faction. And, uh, you know, definitely, yeah, it, it, there's so many members of the Dark Order. They're all successful. They're all ultra-talented. This should be uh, very interesting here. And their opponents, the team of Angel Fashion, Baron Black, Buddy Morales and Horizon. A little eight man tag team action. A lot of bodies, X Calvin. Just trying to keep up. I'll walk you through it, kid. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it, Taz. You got it, homie. We've seen on BTE recently that Dark Order have really stepped up their recruiting efforts. They've been uh, trying to get Maki Ito. Yeah, I have a problem. Okay. I did. Team Taz definitely thought about, hey, Maki Ito, she's a tremendously talented young lady from Japan. But, you know, listen. Dark Order, they, they recruit heavily, that's for sure. And she will Uno tag himself in. And uh, so here we go. Grayson, center Uno. In, to the corner, Grayson with the shoulder in the midsection of Angel Fashion. And just, oh, and backbreaker there. Yeah, Fashion landed hard. And now uh, Morales, legal man, tagged in. Ran right into the boot of Evil Uno. The folks at home want to know that uh, just offered Taz some, some candy here, and he just gave me the most disgusting, questioning look. Not quite sure why. Well, I'm, I'm locked in. I'm, I don't, I I don't see, partake I in beverages and food while I'm working. I, I'm a professional. I'm an analyst, and you know how I am. I don't partake. See, it's all business, my friend. And evil, uh, Stu Grayson with a beautiful chop to Morales' chest. Really lighten up, Vary Morales. Colt Cabana tag then. Swelling up oh. the areol, areol, areol area. See that five times. And Allen Angels 
I'm in Dark Order doing a great job keeping Morales isolated they in the corner. Negative one doing some interesting dance move, kind of like Travolta from 76. I had a 76 Travolta, that was my first car. Right hand there by Cabana, and again, rapid fire attack. Oh, 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 oh. Morales, he's just getting destroyed by each member of the Dark Order, well, all four members in this match. Angels, the body slam. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. wow, yeah. And negative one likes what he sees. He probably came up with that spot. I love it. <laughs> it's funny. And Alan Angel's now in control here. Oh, Harry. Morales escapes out the back. Quick step in. Angels went for the trip. Oh, wow. One. Just a one count. That was. I thought it was a belly to belly, but then he, he twisted with it at the very end. It was, it was. It, you know, I've actually talked to Angels about that uh, a couple days ago. I had a conversation with him, believe it or not, uh, offline combo. I talk to people all the time. Well, and it definitely is something he's worked on a side belly to belly. Yeah, the history between, uh, the relationship between yourself and negative one, very well documented here on Dark, so I can understand why he might enlist your services. Well, I help people. That's I'm a type of person that helps everyone out. Even Colt Cabana at times I don't like. But I respect Colt, and uh, we know each other a long time. But we'll just leave it there. We'll just leave it at that. Rison getting no rocked there. Means, but okay. by the elbow. <laughs> it's a bit of a digression. Yeah, a little bit. No, I'm not allowed to say that anymore because people. Some people say it's the too much, too many times. Well, I mean, like three people. All oh, those people that got alcohol poisoning from the drinking game. <laughs> <laughs> little Rison, just beating up on old Colt right here. Big right hands to the the face of Cabana, but Cabana. Back body drop. Great job by Colt. That was a nice backdrop. Tagging out to Baron Black and Evil Uno. Clothesline, a shot for Angel Fashion. Nobody home there in the corner. Uno. Well, Evil Uno, underratedly talented between the ropes. I've said it many times. You know, for someone that doesn't, if you look at him and his physique and his type of genetically, the way he is, oh. he, doesn't, he doesn't seem like the type of be as fleet-footed as he is, and his timing is great. His aggression, his toughness, everything about him. I mean, Evil Uno is underrated. And the hanging neckbreaker with the, the assist from first Grayson, then Cabana out on the corner. And Evil Uno just using that that power, that exploding power. Oh, <laughs> hey, what a shot. Right fast, hand. fast hand, round kick. And the strength of Stu Grayson. And he's got Baron Black up on the shoulders for the nightfall. And here comes Colt Cabana. Colt Cabana could be thinking Billy Goat's curse here. Yeah, he's got it locked in, and Baron Black forced to tap out. Billy Goat Jones. The winners of this match. Dark Order. <laughs> Dark Order looking impressive in victory here. Oh, oh. oh wow. Negative one. He needs, needs to be restrained by his uh, his employees. Yes, they, you got to keep an eye on negative one. You never know. He'll snap in a heartbeat. Well, a very impressive <laughs> victory here. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Oof. Oh, man. I'm just letting people know. Watch this. You, you can see how tight negative one is with the dark order as far as tight meaning a friendship and he's like a Taz, like you said a it best they're they're a family they really are and that's like that behind the scenes as you know so <laughs> yeah. up there we'll fly it up negative one jones leading <laughs> the dark order to victory here tonight on aew dark check it out we got six man tag team action featuring the gun club that's billy that's austin that's colton and that's next this is a six man tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit approaching the ring from orlando florida at a total combined weight of 690 pounds billy austin and Colton Gunn, the Gun Club. Well, three proud members of the Nightmare family right here. I'm sure the American Nightmare Cody. Very happy when these men are going to do battle. Can I take the high road? And their opponents at a total combined weight of 611 pounds. A team of David Ali, Adam Priest, and Seth Gorgas. Well, Taz. Gun Club, it's interesting because, you know, their, their last name, their surname is Gun, but they also seem to be firearm enthusiasts. 
Oh, be, yeah, but that's just, they do the hand motions. It's part of their thing, and I, I understand what you're saying. I mean, they, oh, look I at this. Oh, oh. Seth Gargas, David Ali, and Adam Priest trying to get the jump on Gun Club. Yeah, that's smart. I mean, Gun Club was kind of, you know, getting ready to talk a little game plan beforehand, but now Gun Club turning it around. Colton has Seth Gargas isolated in the corner. David Ali with Austin Gunn and Billy with Adam Priest boot to the midsection. Nice, that double underhook and twisting, turning, and dropping his opponent right to his back, driving his opponent. Uh oh. Oh, the famous, sir. And referee Aubrey Edwards never even had control of this match. The quick oh. draw by Austin Just Gunn. Like he, he got him. Cover right here. here, one, two, three. The winners of this match, the Gun Club. Well, that's how you do it right there. I'm impressed. Don't uh, get paid by the hour. That's good stuff. Yeah, statement victory there by Gun Club. Billy and Colton didn't even take off their shirts. Wow. Well, that's, a, that's an impressive, strong, aggressive victory. Ahead of the big 10-man tag team match coming up tomorrow night on Dynamite. Bear Country is in action next year on AEW Dark. This is a tag team contest for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Bear Mountain, New York at a combined weight of 604 pounds. Bear Boulder, Bear Bronson, Bear! Country! Taz, tomorrow night, AEW Dynamite St. Patrick's Day Slam is absolutely loaded, and Bear Country will be a part of a huge 10-man tag team match. But they team up with Jurassic Express to take on Matt Hardy, Private Party, and Butcher and the Blade. They have to be matched. And their opponents had a combined weight of 590 pounds, a team of Dean Alexander and Britt Aldridge. Bear, or excuse me, Butcher in the Blade, Matt Hardy's latest signings. And he is looking to uh, to grow his empire to recoup. Sure thing, I mean, Private Party was shocked when Matt Hardy said, hey, check it out. <laughs> here's, yeah. here's Butcher and Blade now, and Bunny. Look at this, Dean Alexander, though, escaping out the back. Boulder's got him. Oh, this bold is so strong. Just placing him up on the top rope. Brick Aldridge walked right into Boulder. That's definitely Boulder, Excalibur. Oh. I can tell you that, no matter what anybody thinks, that is friggin' Boulder. Did your invisible friend Andrew say this? Right? No, my invisible friend's annoying me. <laughs> Look at this by Boulder. Slamming Aldridge and Alexander down. Here comes Bronson, big bad Bronson. Uh-oh. This could be it for Aldridge and Alexander. Bronson oh. just. Oh, here, look at this, look at this. Landed double cover here. Got Three. It. The winners of this match. Bear Country. No Excalibur's going to be interesting to see, interesting to see if Bear Country can work as a cohesive unit with Jurassic Express. Remember, they eliminated that battle roll. They, they eliminated Luchasaurus. Yeah, so it, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of conflicting interests. Going into Dynamite tomorrow night at 8, 7 Central on TNT. Well, that makes it even more intriguing, right? I think so, Tess. And there's a lot of conflicting interest everywhere. Everywhere in this world, my friend. Everywhere in this world. You might say that the very sport of pro wrestling is based in conflict. I would not disagree with any of those statements you just made. Thanks, Tess. I appreciate that. Loads of issues everywhere. Talk about big, talk about bad, talk about nasty. You're talking about Nick Camarado. He's in action coming up right now. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing 278 pounds, Nick Camarado. See right there, QT Bulldog Marshall with him. QT Marshall has turned his back on Dustin Rhodes twice in the last 10 days. I think it's great. 
But yeah, continue. No, D3. His opponent from Rome, Italy, weighing 172 pounds, D3. Well, I, you know, it's it's really interesting because the the Nightmare family seemed like such a such a cohesive unit, and QT Marshall is, you know, I mean, he, he seems to be, uh, I don't know, heading out on his own path. And I, I think it's phenomenal. I really do. I think QT's been grossly underutilized. He's a genius. He's a veteran. He's, a, he's one of the greatest trainers you're going to find. I mean, yeah. So, you know what? It's a great move by QT Marshall. Anthony, you're, you're doing a really great Taz accent. No, that's not even funny. I'm just being honest. That was not even funny when you just said that. How about that? Okay. So, next test. Well, right now, D3 is trying, trying not to get cornered by the ever powerful and big, burly Nick Camarato. Well, D3 did do a good job ducking under the, the outstretched arms of Nick Camarato. Camarato is built like a brick. You know, oh, look at that. He is. Just, yeah, that was nice. Nice kicks from his back by D3. Camarado charging in. D3 again able to avoid contact. Quick first step. Sent up and over the top. Shoulder in the midsection though, and the common Geary. Well, D3 trying to build a bunch of momentum. Ooh, went for the the crossbody, but Camarado caught him. D3 lands on his feet. Drop kick. Wow. D3 looking great here in the early goings, Taz. He's smart. He's not slowing down, D3. He just keeps bringing a bunch of offense. But the power might be a little too much for D3 here from Camarado. Camarado. Oh, big neck breaker there. Back breaker. But yes, it was awesome. Thank you, Taz. You're welcome, sir. Look at the Bulldog. That's QT Marshall. He's so excited. He's so proud of his old friend, Nick Camarado. They're buddies for a long time. Look at the strength of Nick Camarado into the power slam. Deep hook, and it was academic from there. The winner of this match, Nick Camarado. Yeah, that was a very impressive power slam right there by this beastly Nick Camarado. Taz, usually you don't have a lot of complimentary things to say about the, the Nightmare family, but it seems like overnight you're suddenly a fan of QT Marshall. Well, more, speaking of QT Marshall, let me ask you, once QT's hair comes all the way full through the hair gimmick he had done, will it be like Nick Camarado's hair? Like, is he trying to have the same hairdo, like that kind of like perm look, long like that? I think that's the plan, yeah. I hope it works out. I haven't talked to him, but I'll, I'll, I'll investigate this. Bulldog! <laughs> And he, he, he no sold you. He should. Super kick, Pate! This is the story of Matt and Nick Jackson, seen through their eyes. Over the past 20 years, they have documented their tireless journey, their triumphs, and their tribulations. And now they are ready to share their adventures with the world in their new book. One day, let's grow up and let's be professional wrestlers. This is the story of two brothers that became two loving fathers that went on to become the best tag team in professional wrestling today. This is the story of the Young Bucks killing the business. Young Bucks, we're killing the business. Brian Pillman Jr. and Griff Garrison, the Varsity Blondes in tag team action against Royce Isaacs and Jarrell Nelson next here on Dark. This is a tag team contest set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring at a combined weight of 453 pounds, Griff Garrison, Brian Pillman Jr., the Varsity Blondes. Varsity. I've never something I've ever seen of. No, I'll tell you later. No, no, tell me now. I'll tell you now. I've never seen a tag team, somebody hold the ropes open for their partner. And their opponents had a combined weight of 435 pounds, the team of Jarrell Nelson and Royce Isaacs. I don't think I've ever held rope open for any tag team partners I've ever had, ever. You never liked any of your tag team partners? Well, I've won championships with them, but I digress. Doesn't mean you have to like them. That's true. That's true, my friend. Let's see, we got Brian Pillman Jr. He's gonna start this thing off here for the Varsity Blondes. Yeah, Royce Isaacs for his team. A little standing switch there, side headlock there by Isaacs. Side headlock sent off into the ropes. Pillman 
And Isaacs. Oh, ooh. nice shot by Isaacs. Dropped Pillman there. Oh, Pillman now explodes into the rope shoulder tackle. Nice shoulder tackle. He ran right through that. that. Brian Pillman did. That was very well done. A simple move, but smartly done. Hammer thrown to the corner, followed up by the chop. Tagged out uh, Griff Garrison. Garrison splash in the corner. Now the Blondes going to work on Royce Isaacs. Griff Garrison makes the cover, hooks the far leg. Just a two count. Garrison celebrated his 23rd birthday last week, Taz. Well, that's a, a belated uh, happy birthday. I normally don't say happy birthday to anybody if they're over like nine years old. So uh, I believe uh, birthdays for adults, not children. But uh, I'm vice versa for children, not adults. Well, you know what I meant. Don't be a wise ass. But uh, <laughs> say happy, anything yeah, fast. you made a little snicker. I heard. But happy belated birthday to the very talented young Griff Garrison. How about that? See? 23 years young, Griff Garrison. Uh, you know, Griff and Brian Pillman of Aussie Blondes. I'm tell you what, this team has grown on me a tad. T A D, tad. Like a fungus. Pillman Jr. sent into the ropes. Bryce Isaacs. Whoa. Elevates Pillman up and over. Block. Oh, big right hand stuns Bryce Isaacs. And oh, look at that. Jarrell Nelson stopping Pillman. Yeah, Nelson was uh, really on top of it right there. It was smart what he did. Bryce Isaacs knocking Pillman back to the corner. Stomps to the midsection tag out to Jarrell Nelson. You know, Jarrell is Superman's dad's name, Taz. Uh, I didn't know that, but I'll follow it under who gives a rat's ass. What can I be so, what what be so mean? Just give me my honest feelings. That's what I do out here. That I get paid to do. I get paid to be honest and analyze. Sorry, I don't care about Superman. I'm worried for Brian Pillman Jr. He's getting his rear end kicked over here. Are you Sorry, gonna, I'm you not gonna, missing it. You can at least pretend to be interested. No, I don't want to. I'm trying to. Uh, yeah, why would I start that now? Oh, big shoulder tackle by Jarrell Nelson. Leg drop there by Isaacs. Oh, elbow too. Great combination offense here. Covered deep hook. I pretend to be interested in your stupid stuff all the time. <laughs> That's really unprofessional. Okay, you are a play-by-play. Down the middle, Jones guy, and here you are using curse words. That's stupid. That's a mean word. That's a very derogatory word. Three point stance right here. Curse. It's a disrespectful term. It is. Oh, big high boot by Nelson. And I'm surprised. Stunts Pillman. Oh, but wow. Pillman ran right through Nelson. Pillman coming out of there like Randy Rasmussen. I don't care who that is, Taz. Look at me. I'm a bully. I'm going to leave Justin Roberts high and dry. <laughs> Tag out for oh. Griff Garrison. Oh my God, what an inside joke. Oh, the Garrison. That was funny. <laughs> Hip toss. <laughs> oh. Nelson elevated up and over the top. <laughs> Griff Garrison. Oh. <laughs> Diving splash in the corner. Oh. Taking down both opponents. Garrison sits out with the Falcon Arrow. Covers, hooks the leg, no! Oh, Cody had it there, good save. It was like a, a two-stage explosion from a building. The front half collapsed, and then the back half went down after it. Uh, probably more like a two-and-a-half stage, but I understand. Joe, oh, wow! Oh, another great combination move here. Garrison kicks out. That would have been, been a big upset. That yeah, most certainly would have been. Isaacs makes the tag out. They're looking to keep the pressure on. They're doing a good job of that. Ooh, Ooh Garrison escapes out. Pillman tags himself in. Isaacs. Oh, he landed hard on the apron, Isaacs. Yeah, it was a rough, awkward fall. Ooh. Discus elbow in the flying clothesline there by Brian Pillman Jr. Cover, two, three. They are your winners. Unfortunately, long. Nice job by Pillman, because you know what? Right before that springboard, he kind of slipped a little bit on that top rope, but he deemed himself, and he was able to still get the pulls on him. Yeah, great recovery there by Brian Pillman Jr. Griff Garrison, though, really set the table. 
oh, yeah. Billman to hit that. The, the, the big rolling elbow by Garrison set up Jarrell Nelson for that flying clothesline. The varsity blondes victorious here tonight. Ladies, action coming up right now. Maddie Rinkowski goes up against Vert Vixen right now. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Calabasas, California, Maddie Rinkowski. Taz, Maddie Rinkowski, a student of Thunder Rosa at Mission Pro Wrestling. And Thunder Rosa usually with a lot of focus on her students' matches, but she is preparing for that big unsanctioned match tomorrow night on Dynamite. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Her opponent from Irvine, California, Bert Vixen. The unsanctioned lights out match test tomorrow night for the first time ever. Main event on Dynamite will be Thunder Rosa versus Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. Yeah, an issue with Dr. Britt Baker and Rosa has been brewing, brewing for quite some time. So oh. really, really looking forward to this tomorrow night. Lights out. Feel on Dynamite. Hold on, look at look, Maddie yeah. Renkowski really bringing it. Big elbow strikes. Vert Vixen, though, turns the tables on Renkowski. I mean, these two have trained together, and there's definitely no love loss to the point you were saying earlier. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Vert Vixen, also a student of Thunder Rosa, so these two women have done battle before. But this is the first time here on AEW. Whoa, 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 here we go. Look at the far leg there by Renkowski. A lot of times, you know, when you train with somebody and you come up with them, whatever dojo you're coming out of, there is a competitiveness. You know, competitive, right? Competitiveness, and you have a tendency to almost uh, hit that person harder than you would. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, it's absolutely super competitive. Ooh. You see those, talking about hitting hard, Vert Vixen, strong back elbow there to Rinkowski. Vert Vixen building up steam. Oh! oh. Wow, she faked her out. Yeah. yeah, that was nice. Caught her with a heel on the back of the head. Rinkowski, cool. yeah, a little, little cool. unsteady here. Oh, drop kick. Knocks Rinkowski back to the corner. So a girl from Irvine collided with a girl from Calabasas out of the same school. So it's pretty cool. Charging into the corner. Nobody home, though. Renkowski hoist Vert Vixen up on the shoulders. Nice job. Oh, nice. Well done by Matty Renkowski. Rolls through Miss Reality. Matty Renkowski drops the legs across the midsection. Looking for a cover here. Two. No. Got long legs as Matty Renkowski. So if someone with longer limbs when they drop a leg, it's, it's it's it hurts a little bit more for sure when that happens. Taz, got to got to give Matty Renkowski a lot of credit for filling in for Anna J in that oh, tag yes. team eliminator tournament. Oh look, Vert Vixen just nice. hammering Renkowski. She bridged out of it when Renkowski did. But you're right, Maddie did. You know when she filled in for Anna J, that was impressive. That's tough to do when she did that last second yeah. type deal and it worked out. You know it didn't work out for all the way, but. Oh, Vert Vixen put on the brakes. Thrust kick to the jaw. Another one. Matty Renkowski in trouble here. Oh, common Geary. Yeah, that was some shot. Maddie is rocked right now, thanks to Vert Vixen. Vert Vixen with a big chance here. But Taz, Matty Renkowski, you know, she did fill in for Anna Jay, but she went up against Dr. Britt Baker, who I think uh, had some even extra, extra motivation to take the fight to Renkowski, given that a student, Renkowski, right, yeah, a student, student of Thunder Rosa. Rosa. Right, no, no, I totally, I think you're right, and I agree, 1,000%. Uh, oh! And, and as you were saying earlier, tomorrow night, speaking of Thunder Rosa and Britt Baker, tomorrow night, huge, massive match on Dynamite. Unsanctioned, Unsanctioned lights, lights out outs. match for the first time ever on Dynamite, part of the huge St. Patrick's Day Slam edition of AEW Dynamite tomorrow night, 8, 7 Central on TNT. I mean, what a card. We talked about it a little bit tonight, but Cody, Cody versus Penta, I mean, tomorrow night's gonna be awesome. Kingston and Moxie versus the Good Brothers. Dude, it's a heavy duty card, man. Not only that, we will see the singles debut of Jade Cargill, yes. John Moxley, Eddie Kingston teaming up to take on the Good Brothers, that and so much more tomorrow night in test. What about MJF, FTR, Sean Spears, yes. Tully Blanchard, Warlow joining forces. We'll learn, hopefully we learn more about all that whole situation. Cover here, oh, Vert happened, Vixen, you know, whoa! -ho -ho. What happened to Jericho in his inner circle? I mean, that was, that was a, it's a shock. Yeah, it was, a, it was an incredible way to close off Dynamite last week. We will find out more 
Tomorrow night, 8, 7 central on TNT. Oh, oh, oh. oh small package. Inside cradle here. One, two, no. Wow, it's tough when they have a tight cradle. Someone's in a tight cradle like that. To be able to get out, a big credit given to Vert Vixen. Matty Rinkowski a little rocked here. Oh, dropped old, maybe playing possum. Maddie Renkowski. She's a little rocked, but she's got to get moving. Oh, the axe kick wow. across the spine. Renkowski's got her hooked deep, and that is it. The winner of this match, Maddie Renkowski. Taz, what a victory here tonight for Maddie Renkowski. The battle back and forth between both young ladies, for sure. Both athletes, as we pointed out, from the same school, Thunder Rose's school. You know, train, done the Rosa trained to both these girls, and what a battle. And look at this, this axe kick across the spine. Ending the night of Vert Vixen. Miss Reality, Maddie Renkowski, victorious here tonight on AEW Dark. The red hot SCU, Christopher Daniels and Frankie Kazarian Take on the Nightmare Families, Carly Bravo and Aaron Solo next in tag team action. This is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring at a combined weight of 376 pounds, the team of Carly Bravo and Aaron Solo. Anthony, I know you spent a lot of time at the Nightmare Factory. You got a lot of insights into the going on, goings on there. What is going on with QT Marshall and the rest of the Nightmare family? I don't even know. <laughs> All right. It seems know. like there's a lot and of I stuff cannot, going on. I will not divulge personal information to, to you, Excalibur, as much I, as I do like you. I well, it's not just that. to me, it's to the viewers at home. Yeah. Well, you did put, you did put Anthony in the spot, let's be honest. And their opponents from Southern California, at a combined weight of 425 pounds, the Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels, Frankie Kazarian, SCU. Yes, I don't know if you've heard of a broadcast journalist. Ah, uh, you're a stooge too. SCU, undefeated this year, and that has earned them the number one ranking in the tag team division. I thought you were going to get that to tell me about that, that silly ass award you won about three months ago. You still talk about that? Remember that? No, I forget, Taz. What, what award it was that? I'm waiting, for, I'm waiting to hear who the competitors are against SCU. Oh, we heard the record. Yeah, just very game of the record. I've had a lot of chair shots in my career. I have to get things quick. <laughs> I mean, really. I don't, I don't understand why a chair shot to your back would have any any. <laughs> Effect on your hearing. Yeah, I wish. It was the back. <laughs> so we've got the number one ranked tag team. Uh, so many years of experience between these two against a tag team making their debut together. Right, and a young man here, Carly Bravo. Yeah, with the uh, just under under a year of exper in ring experience. Right. But Carly Bravo has a uh, definitely has a certain cockiness to him, uh, maybe a tad overconfident. Um, in some, what some people would think, but you know what? He's uh, showing in his early career that he, he, he's, he's a gamer. He's ready to go. It's proven to, proven that he is a tremendous athlete. Right now, though, this tremendous tag team of SCU in control. Anthony, we saw last week on Dynamite, SCU watching very interestedly in the match between Matt Jackson and Ray Phoenix. Of course, the Bucks will defend the AEW World Tag Team titles against Phoenix and Pac. And uh, SCU would like to be next in line, I think. Of course, yeah. You know, they're the number one. They've earned their way to the top of the rankings. And it doesn't matter how experienced they are and how wily they are as veterans. You, 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 can, never, you can never stop learning. Bravo sends Daniels at the rope. Shoulder tackle. Big Daniels. shoulder tackle. Yeah, he really stepped into that one, did Christopher Daniels. Leapfrog. Hip toss there. And the drop kick. Yeah, nice drop kick. Oh, missed that one. Daniels went to drop the elbow. And you know, Taz, the there it's no secret that the Young Bucks 
and SCU good friends out, outside of the ring. Right, of course, yeah. That would be something special if, if it was SCU, Kazarian and Daniels, especially with that, that stipulation they've applied to themselves. Next time they lose, they, they're done as a team. They're done. And imagine if they went into a match with the with the Young Bucks with the AEW World Tag Team Championship on the line. Interesting, yeah, very interesting. I'd like to see that. I really would uh, as a fan of, 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 of all of the talent we have here in AEW and how matches get put together. I'd love to see a tag team match with SCU versus the Young Bucks. I think that'd be uh, grand. But, you know, I mean, just as interesting to that point, Taz, SCU versus uh, Ray Phoenix and Pac, two-thirds of Death Triangle. Oh, cover here, oh, too. Yeah, yeah. If Death Triangle is able to unseat the Young Bucks as, as tag team champions, that could be a matchup we see in the very near future. Absolutely, and I, you know, just watching how SCU has worked their way into this thing by putting that pressure. Nice front headlock, by the way, that Kazarian has on. A deadly hold that he just will not let go of, which is uh, underratedly dangerous hold. But anyway, uh, the way SCU has basically locked in here, putting that pressure on each other, you know, that stip that they put on each other, if you if you lose, we're done. But they've been, what are they, 6 no now, we're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. Kazarian with a roll-up. Solo. That is uh, arms hooked deep. Still able to kick out, and now talk about deep. A couple of arm drags there. Frank Kazarian trying to get back up to a vertical position. But Taz always says you don't want to be on your back in this business. So no. saw you, Frankie Kazarian, he, he sat right to his backside because he did not, does not want his shoulders on the mat. And the more matches you have, and as you evolve as a wrestler, Anthony, you'll see. The more matches you have, when someone covers you and you kick out, like, it ends up, like, I know for me, I ended up instinctually kicking out and ended up in my belly, you know, my stomach. It's just that, or some guys end up on their side. So let's see, see right there, Frank just turns his side right away. It's just become second nature, yeah. you know? In your years wrestling Excalibur, I'm sure it happened with you too. Yeah, and you, you're always, uh, always trying to get back up to a vertical position. You never want to be fighting a, oh, no. fighting a pitched battle. It's different than a BJJ fight, you know, if you're fighting on the, on your back and you, you know. Watch out, nice. Yo, right there. Christopher Daniels just dropped Carly Bravo. Yeah, it's a version of the way he does that. It's it's kind of like what in judo is called an osotogari. And similarly, he doesn't, Daniels doesn't move exactly like that, but it's that type of back out of leg sweep, so very effective. And Taz, when you take a big, ooh, when you hit the mat so quickly like that, it, 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 it wins you, doesn't it? It takes yeah. the air out of your breath. No cover here. Long. Well, yeah, it does. That's why training and lifting weights, as you know, it's so important, not just for the look of a pro wrestler, the aesthetic look. You know, it's a cosmetic business, looking good, your body and stuff, but it's armor you build up on your body to protect your body, you know? When you get taken to your back so hard and quick, well, like that right now, Bravo's got a guy's dropping legs on his chest. You know, he's got a muscular chest, I and mean, so he's able to take that. The average guy, uh, that's working as a barista somewhere, you know, I mean, no knock on baristas. I'm sure there's some tough baristas out there, but most can't take a leg drop from Frank oh. Kazarian or Chris Daniels. True, true. <laughs> I'm not a coffee drinker, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Hooks the far leg. Just a two count for Frankie Kazarian. They've shown their experience in this match, I think, um, Daniels and Kazarian. They've been in control pretty much. Oh. Nice move. Pretty much from the get-go. Manhattan drop as Carly Bravo stunned. A little high-low there. Daniels covers, lateral press, Carly Bravo kicks out. And okay. see the difference in the kick out by Bravo, and this is why he got topped three times. Because what I said earlier, by not kicking out and getting to his belly, that's the inexperience. Not knocking the kid, but that's what happens. Of course. When you don't get to your stomach, the guy's able to keep topping you. People might think, why did he try to pin him again if he didn't win off, of, off the first one? That's because when you kick out, you're throwing Daniels as what? 205, 210 pounds? You're pushing a man, a grown man, off your body that exerts a lot of energy, and it's, you, you know, you're getting tired by doing that, aren't you? Yeah, sure Christopher, does it. Christopher Daniels out. forcing Carly Bravo to expend a lot of energy on those three consecutive kickouts. Swing and a miss there. Carly Bravo looking for a sunset flip. Daniels. Breaks free, Ooh. went to drop the leg. Bravo avoids contact, but makes the tag. So we're gonna miss there by Daniels. Kazarian got an elbow right across the bridge of the nose. Solo's fresh. Yeah, very, very quick for Solo. Oh! Nice job by Aaron Solo. Daniels in a bit of trouble here. Solo elevated over the top. Big common Gary. And you would never normally whip your opponent into Ooh. his corner. No. Super kick. 
Well, because he obviously he, he knocked Kazarian down earlier, he knew that he couldn't get the tag there. Yeah, and I, I, you know, I was kind of, oh, look at that, Daniels got dropped by the flying clothesline. I was, uh, you know, kind of fantasy booking about a potential SCU World Championship title match, but right. if, if Solo and Carly Bravo pick up the victory, Ooh. That'll be it for SCU, and there will be no title match in their future. Uh, no, you're right, Excalibur. That's something we didn't discuss. And uh, well, right now, SCU's got control, but a moment ago, they didn't. So, yeah, that could happen. Uh-oh. Could, could be Angel's Wings here. Oh, no. And Solo Corkscrew kick, but he knocked Daniels into the corner. Kazarian able to avoid contact. Oh. Kazarian rolls through deep, tight cover, but just a two count. Yeah, that flying cradle right there. Great job by Kazarian. That would a chop, man. Oh, man. Kazarian using his strength, but Solo using his speed and his agility in the diving foot stomps. That was a great counter, by the way, from his um, from Daniel's angel wings from Aaron Solo. Yeah, but Carly Bravo takes to the skies. Cross body, two count. Yeah, he really opened up, spread out, spread eagle on that uh, on that cross body, high cross body from the top rope. But Taz, you notice he, he didn't collect the legs all in one no. motion. That would have given him a better chance. He might have got the pin. He missed that big spot. Oh! He got just not, damn near knocked out of his uh, his boots right there with that clothesline. Stan Hansen-esque oh. clothesline. Oh, yeah. That was a strong clothesline by Kaz for sure. Solo. Knocked to the floor. They singled out. Whoa, whoa, watch it here. They singled out the uh, Holly. And the BME, the best Meltzer ever from SCU. One, two, three. SCU. No winners of this match. SCU. Well, SCU remain perfect, and they remain with their sights set on the AEW World Tag Team Championship. Will it be the Young Bucks? Will it be Death Triangle? We'll find out in the coming weeks. But SCU seem to have a date with destiny lined up. And look at the way the Frankie Kazarian's blocked Aaron Solo from getting in, trying to break up that pin. That is experience there. A great victory for Christopher Daniels and Frankie Kazarian here tonight on AEW Dark. Big tag team match coming up in our co-main event. Team Taz's Brian Cage and Ricky Starks with Hook in their corner will take on Joey Janela and Sonny Kiss coming up next. is a tag team contest set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by Hook at a combined weight of 470 pounds, the team of Absolute Ricky Starks and the Machine, Brian Cage. Taz, I've got to ask you, it looks like Starks and Cage still moving a bit gingerly after that epic street fight we saw at Revolution. Yeah, well, we'll get into that here in a second. It's definitely a physical situation and depressing also for us. And their opponents at a combined weight of 391 pounds, the Concrete Rose, Sunny Kiss, and the Bad Boy, Joey. Janella! Not in the mood right now for Janella's BS. You better keep his ass away, worry about stalks and cage tearing his head off. And if he goes outside the ring, Hook will break his jaw. I'm not in the mood, and I'm really ticked about what happened. At Revolution, in a street fight, no one likes a loss. We don't like that, okay? And you're right, Excalibur. The, the men are a little banged up. It was tough for some cage. I mean, you saw what happened. You saw the, the, the danger. Dar Darby Allen dropping Allen, off yeah. that the, the, the top floor of that five-story building, driving Brian Cage all the way down to that first floor. But right now, Anthony, big tag team match here in our co-main event on AEW Dark. Massive tag match, massive tag match. I'm looking forward to seeing Ricky Starks and Brian Cage bounce back from that 
terrible defeat they but, suffered last But you week. can't count out Sonny Kiss and Joey Janela. They've proven to be extremely dangerous. Yeah, well, right now, uh, you know, it, it's not the time you want to play around with any members of Team Taz, especially the Machine and Ricky Starks. Sonny Kiss. Oh, 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 oh. that's not going to fly well. No, that'll, that'll wake you up. Back bridge and the kick there. Oh, and Zagiri was blocked. Good job. Come on, Brian. Oh, ah. oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Huge. that was a great knee strike right there. That's called a receipt, isn't it, chaps? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> In Japan, receipt, though. <laughs> Watch this now. Brian Cage. See how smart? In the corner, our corner. He knows that Ricky Starks is right there. Brian knows that. One step ahead of your own moves. Tag. Well, tag in by uh, Starks Cage. A little surprised by it. Well, it was the right time for Starks to cage in. I mean, but Brian's a competitor, and even though with their teammates, he wanted, probably want to do more damage. But Ricky did the right thing by tagging him. I mean, Taz, can you give us any any insights into uh, the mindset of Starks and Cage? They're they're, uh, they're angry. They're uh, they're definitely they're not embarrassed, but they're kind of a, a little bit ashamed because we just thought we had that match won. They thought they had it won, and there, there's a little bit of a that kind of a vibe going on. So yeah, it's it's tough. It's a tough time right now. Yeah, and they're winners. Yes, correct. They're competitors and winners, Anthony. You're right. Winners want to win, and right. they don't want to lose ever, and they especially don't want to lose in in a huge match like a Revolution. Correct. Well, diving crossbody by Joey Janela. Ooh, After ooh. the big roundhouse from Sonny Kiss. Good job, Ricky. Cover up that. that That's the man right oh. there. Oh, watch that. Can cover up for that one. Janela just using some uh, some street fighting tactics there to drop absolute Ricky Starks. Yeah, Ricky brought his left hand down to throw his own left hook, I think, and he brought it down too early, and Joe Janela beat him to the punch. Oh, Janela. Oh, oh he's, gonna, he's look at looking look for the tope. Look at the power. Cage. Oh, uh. man. Cage able to stop Janela in his tracks. Well, and hit the big suplex on the floor. The strength and power of the machine is unmatched. And you saw it right there. Just level Janela. Oh. Take a look here. Knee to the face of Sonny Kiss. Send Sonny to the outside. Ricky Starks picks up where Brian Cage left off. Scoop and a slam there. And nice speed right there. Nice intensity by Starks. Covers here. Just a one oh, count. Whoa. Get him out of there, ref. Get Sonny out of the damn ring. Just a one count from referee Aubrey Edwards. Joey Janela, though, you can see still feeling the effects from that suplex on the floor, courtesy of the machine. Yeah, well, you know, Janela's his lower back was probably about nine, ten feet up in the air. Then he come cra gravity. <laughs> Listen, gravity hurts, mate. Gravity hurts when you come down in the, in, in the ring, let alone on the outside. As, as the old saying goes, gravity is undefeated. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just smart right now by my men right here to keep Janela in that corner, keep him in our corner. Oh, that straight mush kick right there by the machine, Brian Cage. To the temple. Oof. They hey. fuzz you up. Those temple shots, they fuzz you up and leave sure. you jelly legged for a, a good 10, 15 seconds. And Janela's normally jelly legged without even being in a wrestling match. Imagine getting kicked in the face. Ricky Starks charges in, but eats a boot there, courtesy of Joey Janela. Now Janela goes over the top. Sunset flip. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Good kick out right there by absolute Ricky Starks. Oh, watch out. Great technique on the sunset flip by Janelle. You saw he had both feet distributed over the shoulders of Starks. He did. No, agreed. He did. He may not look like uh, a present day athlete, but Joe Janelle, he always impressed me with his agility. Well, he's a seasoned pro, and, he, and you're right, Anthony. He, he, his agility's odd for a guy that has the, you know, the type of uh, physique he has, but he does pull it off. Right now, he's Ooh, getting his hung on to that, that center strand. He's getting his ass whipped. He got his hands kicked on the ropes. He got kicked, he's getting kicked all over the place here. Watch but, out. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hook with the cheap shot. Janela had his back turned, and Hook swept out the legs. Janela just dropped on the apron. Who yeah, taught him that, uh, Taz? Was it, was it you or was it his mother who taught him that no. one? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it probably Stalks or Cage, maybe Hobbs. <laughs> now listen, listen, it's well documented. Hook is ever the opportunist, and you have to be. You saw that at Revolution. Look at this. Over here. Oh, I wish oh, it would have been great if Ricky got the win like that. I love, oh, nice Whoa. slap in the face. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, Ricky, you don't want to go. Things punch getting a little punch. spicy here. I told you, these men are not in a good mood. Back suplex there. Drives Janela down and Starks. Starks and uh, Starks and Cage have shared some uh, some icy looks throughout this match, Ted. Uh, 
Yeah, I can't deny that. I, I definitely can't deny that. But like, like I was saying, it's just it, it's just some you know teammates. Oh. Teammates get a little ticked at each other sometimes, right? I mean that happens. And like Anthony said, this was such a huge match at Revolution that happened in the street fight. We were on. We were you know we, <laughs> we were in the big one, and and we didn't pull it off. So both these men, Stalks and Cage, I, I think there's a little you know the competitiveness and a little bit angry towards each other to a degree, but it'll work, we'll work it out. It's the way we do it. Well, Janelle leapt for the corner, trying to make the tag, but Cage caught him and charges it. Oh, nobody home there. Listen, not everything is warm and fuzzy all the time. The way Team Taz, the way I run this faction, we don't, this group, it's not like other groups, okay? I, I don't need everyone to be best friends. Most of these guys in Team Taz, including my oh. own kid, they, 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 oh. they, they, don't, they, don't, they don't like me in general. But it's okay. A lot of players don't like their coaches. As long as we respect each other and we win. Starks looking for the pin here. Two. You know what I mean, Anthony? You, exactly, you know? Taz. It's about winning. Yeah. It's a winning business, not a friend business. Ah, it's a winning shame. business. Yeah, we're not looking to go. Come on, come on. I want to remind everybody. Well, let's get on the same page here, though, guys. Taz, you mentioned the big street fight at Revolution. If you somehow missed it, it's. Oh, oh it's look not, at this. No, no, Roll no, up here no, by Janela. One, what two, no. Wait a minute. Oh! What the hell is going on here? Janella fighting against the odds. Because they ordered the replay of Revolution because you won't be sorry. And oh! A slice bread off the chest of Brian Cage. Yeah, Ricky Starks is rattled. Yeah, I don't like how this is going here. Ricky, tag out. Get, get Brian in this thing right now. We don't want Janella tagging Sonny. Oh, no. Joey Janella makes the tag. Sonny Kiss avoids the first shot by Brian Cage. Sonny's super fresh sitting on that apron, and Sonny's bringing the wood here right now. Sonny's outfit super fresh as well, the drop salt. And oh, the God, kick to the no. midsection. This is, this is horrible, come on, Brian. Rapid fire combination there by Sonny Kiss. Nice reversal, good job. Oh, Wait. Sonny escaped out and underneath oh. the bottom rope drop kick. Cage is on roller skates here. Watch out, Brian. Diving Meteora drops Cage down. No. Sonny Kiss no. cover. No. Two. No. God. That was impressive by Sonny yeah, Kiss. That was close by Sonny Kiss for sure. Yeah, we, we, we're definitely, I, I can't lie, you know, Stalks and Cage a little bit off here in the state for sure. I'm, I thought this match would be over by now. We'd have to win by now. Sonny wow. comes down with a work on Rana. The boot to the side of the face, splitting out. Hook, cage deep, just a, a two. Oh, wow. oh, God. This is as, as good as I've seen in Sunny Kiss ever. No, no, oh, good job. Great, great stuff, I should say, by Ricky Starks. It's an excellent save right there. Starks keeping Team Taz's hopes alive in this match. Big right elbow strike, a second one. Yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, Sonny had a lot of time on the apron. Look at Janela's beat up. Sonny had time to really recoup. Oh, no, uh -oh. this is great. Oh! Yes. Stereo spine buster there, one, two, no! Normally, Cage and Starks are a much better unit. And I think it's got to be down to oh, the, oh. Ooh, the grueling match they had at Revolution. It's yeah. got to be. Definitely, yeah. definitely wearing wearing that fatigue that uh, it's almost 10 days since that match, guys. I understand, and I mean we, we got to kind of recoup a little bit quicker than this. They're both in amazing shape, and right now Brian Cage just got double suplex, suplex by Janela and Kiss. Tandem Man. offense there by Joey Janela and Sonny Kiss. Joey Janela headed up top, diving splash. This is not that. Oh, come on, Brian, you can't get hit again with something. You got to get out of here. Where is Ricky? Sunny Kiss up to the top. 450 splash. One, two, no. Goodness me. So, so close. And that just shows how tough Brian Cage is. Yeah, well, the body, all that the muscle mass he has is like a like an armor on it. Now, oh God, here comes Janela now. He he's got a chance to recoup. Just tagged in, tagged out. What are they doing here? I think Kiss is legal. Well, they're taking Ricky Starks out of the equation for now. Big miss, big ear, elbow strike there. Janella and Sonny are rocking Brian Cage. Get out of this thing here. Cage very unsteady. No. Oh. Nice, nice. Look at the power. All it took was one momentary lapse and the strength of Brian Cage. So strong. Coming into play here. Sonny. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Look Brian at this. Cage. Great job by Stocks to tag himself in. Great job wow. by Stocks right there. 
Brian Cage carrying the weight of both opponents and the huge spear. Cover, two, three. Great, great teamwork. The winners of this match, the team of Brian Cage and Ricky Starks. I, I, I don't think Brian realized that, that Ricky tagged himself in, but he had to. Well, everything's cool. Wait, hold on. Starks and Cage sharing some words. But Taz, at the end of the day, a win is a win. Yeah, we got the win here. Come on, let's, let's just recoup here. It's no big deal. It's just, again, it gives us just repercussions of what happened, you know, at, at Revolution. Everything's fine. It, it's, like you said, a win's a win. We'll take the win. We're good. Well, Team Taz victorious here tonight. Janella and Sonny. Oh. See oh, him. yeah. He... Joey Janella. He's pissed. Hold on. To working in bingo halls for eight by tens. Hot dog and a handshake. Thanks to you. Joey Janella giving Sunny Kiss an earful. I'm not sure there's any more Sunny's fault than Joey's for the loss. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. Joey Janela losing his temper at Sunny Kiss. I mean, just, we've we've seen great things out of him in the past. It's frustrating, guys. You gotta look from my perspective. Oh, it's co-main event actually coming up right now. TH2's Jack Evans against Dark Order number ten, and Negative One will join Excalibur and myself at the announce desk here. Not a simple one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Parkland, Washington, weighing 172 pounds, Jack Evans. Taz, Jack Evans has a, um, we'll say, an, an ill temper, which we've seen get even, even angrier, motivated by the money of big money Matt Hardy. Well, you know, it's a great motivator is the cash, especially the big money of big money Matt. But yeah, Evans definitely has a little bit of a, a heated temper. Join the Dark Order. And his opponent from the keep, weighing 240 pounds, Dark Order number 10. And Taz, the reason I mentioned that is because uh, Jack Evans was instrumental in number 10, Preston Vance of the Dark Order not going into that Face of the Revolution the ladder Order. match on pay-per-view just over a week ago. Uh, so a measure, a chance for a measure of revenge here for 10. Yeah, 10 is definitely not happy about it. Neither is negative one right there, the leader of the dark order, I should say. The little mean man himself. And Taz, I'm not looking forward to the uh, to the leader uh, of the dark uh, order joining us. Like yes, that. we're going to have uh, negative one as a guest commentator during this match. And I am a big fan of his commentary style as Calvin. He's a young man. I think you should give him a nice young man. I mean, I, I, I know some people enjoy this, Taz, but I, I, I wish they would really think about the human being that is Excalibur well, emotional abuse. No one gives a rat's ass about you, but hey, Negative One, what's up, brother? What's up? What's up, man? Negative One, how are you? Good. <laughs> now, uh... Nice reaction. Oh, Jack, Jack Evans. Evans. Yeah, he's got phone around. You see that Negative One by, by yeah. Big? Vance, just threw yeah. him around. Man. Yeah, Jack Evans is going to get killed. Nice. Well done. Well, negative one, it, it was Jack Evans. It was Jack Evans that, that cost 10 yeah. the spot in the face of the revolution ladder yeah, I don't want to remember that. Okay. Right, there's no reason that Calvo to bring that up to negative one. That's a, that's a yeah, bad forfeit. Yeah, and the Casino Battle Royal. Yeah. I'm the only one to bring it up. Okay. Yeah. The Casino Battle Royal, I was at home. I'm going to go there to revolution. But I was at home sitting. Very, very mad. Yes, yes. I believe at home you probably prepare for all the fights that the Dark Order has. Just probably you do all your yeah. prep work, right? Yes, and yes. as you saw in the entrance, I told Jack Evans his throat is going to get sliced. <laughs> oh, tough way to spend a night on YouTube, yeah. Jack Evans. Sliced throat and city. I will. Eat. Well. <laughs> big, big hip toss there. Uh, no! Whoa. Evans sweeping out the leg. 
of number 10. And Evans. Oh, what? Oh, 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 body. What, what's stress, that? stress, the stress. Right, right. No, 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 no! <laughs> 10 cent head first into the okay. steel ring get post. It. We get it. Yeah, we get it, Excalibur. That is your Shut real up. name. It's not even this real name. Have you ever tried to have a conversation negative one with Jack Evans? I would assume not. Oh, no, right? No. no. No, I don't blame if, you. If I did, I would tell him that he's a jerk. Yeah, he's a tough guy to speak to. He's a tough guy to look at sometimes, too. Uh, when I look at him, right. you know what I think of? Oh! <laughs> Shot to the side of the head there by 10. When, when I think of Jack Evans, I think of Ray Cover here. Jazz. 10 hook in the far leg. No. Hey, hold on, you think of who? What did you I say? think of Ray Jazz <laughs> when I said, yeah, this is what hell looks like, and this is what hell looks like. Yes. Yeah, you can call him Ray or you can call him Jazz, but don't call him Ray Jazz. That's a dumb Oh! Jack Evans! Oh. Corkscrew kick. He just dropped 10 with that one. That's not good. Not. A look of concern on the face of negative one here. Look at those double axe handles right across the big chest of 10. And Jack Evans running oh. his mouth. Oh, oh yeah. Cuts his mouth, and then, you know, I come out, and, you know, he's like, oh, yeah, just a nine year old kid. And then I up. Yeah, that's right. You tell him, buddy. <laughs> With fists. Yeah. Standing sky twister oh. press there by Evans. One. Hooks the far leg. <laughs> Good job by 10, kicking out. Strong kick out, too. Jack Evans in control of oh. 10. Ah. Evans, of course, with the, the experience oh. Oh. advantage, the agility ex advantage, but 10. Agility, but. Uh, a tremendous power advantage for 10. Yeah. Also, I think a uh, mean streak wise. It, oh, oh, yeah. I would lean towards 10 for sure. Even though, you know, Evans got a mean streak, but I definitely would lean towards 10 on that. I mean, not really. No, 10, 10's yeah. got a m more oh, mean yeah. streak. Yeah, of yeah, course. Jack Evans. Oh, back oh. elbow, oh. Evans. His what? momentum carried him over the top rope to the outside. Oh, oh no, no, no. Springboard, watch Jack. out! Evan. Just a springboard rider kick there, dropping 10 down to the canvas. Get it. Might have caught 10 in the jaw area there. Let's see here. Let's see, you just oh, no. caught him here. No, not this replay. Oh. And oh, Evans. Boy. Watch out. Headed up watch top. Out. I think he's going for a Could be thinking Maybe Phoenix Splash. Oh! Phoenix Splash. And I told 10 to move, so he moved. Uh, mucho replays there. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes that happens at the desk, negative one. Issues. <laughs> but we'll digress. That's, that's his favorite Fleetwood Mac album. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. And Watch out! Oh! 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 backflip. Powerful clothesline oh! there. Too powerful. Too powerful. A second one. Ten. Um, Ten. String it sure together. A couple there. attacks. Uh-oh. A little strength here. The strength. Evans. Anybody hear me say I'm chewing gum? Right, yes, we did. Well, it's rare at commentary, but you know what? Let's see, let's see what happens here. Watch out, look at uh oh. Oh! oh. Uh. Evans put on the brakes that needed a face, and then a right hand just dropped 10. Evans has been using his fists to great effect here tonight. Moon, salt, press, lateral press, two, no! <laughs> a very, very concerned if negative you keep one. It up. Yeah, I will smack you in the mouth. Ah, yes. See, that's that's so nice. I mean, real negative one. I I love when you're at the desk. We have such chemistry, you and I, and then we have Excalibur here. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we should get Paul White. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at that snap suplex. Hey, Tony, can we get Paul White instead of <laughs> Tony? Tony, Tony who? Tony Schiavone? Yeah. Oh, Tony uh, Schiavone. No, no. You gotta you gotta use the talkback button. Oh, oh okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> He's trying to get you fired, man. <laughs> that makes both of you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> counter there. Evans again, dropping 10. Okay, there's two things I have to say. Yes, sir. Tony Khan is not talking to me. He's mad not, at you? No. Hold on. Oh, no. Look at this deep cover. That's not good if he's mad at no, you. No, I'm saying the people at home think that Tony Khan is talking to me from the headphones. No. He's not. No. What I'm you, saying what I want to say. That's right. This is your opinion. Your yeah. Are you reading stuff online what people are saying, bro? Don't read the comments. No, no, don't read that stuff. 
if there's still uh, 10 people bury you, then 20 put you over. You can't, you can't. Number two, I forgot what I was going to say. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. That happens to me all the time. Watch out. Yeah, have you ever <laughs> watched Dark before? <laughs> Jack Evans, boot across the jaw of Vance. Oh, yeah. And the second thing, it's not Tay Conte. It's Ty. Ty Conte. It's Ty Conte, yeah. yes. People I, say, hey, Tay. No, I'm it's Ty Conte. Conte. I know, right? Yes, I agree with you, man. Have you recruited Ty Conti to the Dark Order? No. Okay. okay. Is she in the She might be. Probably. Oh, wait, she might have a pin. She might, I should say he might have a pin. Jack Evans. No, not there. Not there. Whoa. She's trying to hook that left. I'm sorry, that right arm. I. Home. Yes, sir. And I'm the, uh, you know, uh, they usually have Anna J with Ty Conte, but since Anna J is injured, sadly is injured, right. I am taking the replace of her. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Yeah, but Evans got it on, but Juji Katami had to let go of it because Ten got on the ropes. Good. Good, good rope break there by Ten, but you know you have to remember that that Ten Preston Vance he did have that uh, that torn bicep just oh, about a year ago, courtesy of John Moxley, and oh look at this Ten. The rip oh, cord. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, did anyone hear what I just said to Tim? No, we didn't because we talked back. Oh. Oh. Well, both men down. Let's see who can get to a vertical base first. That's the key oh, here, negative yeah. one. Who's it going to be? You think it's going to be Evans or 10? I think you think 10, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. 10 struggling to Probably get up to his feet, as is Evans. Probably Excalibur thinks Jack Evans. Oh, he definitely, he's a heathen, Excalibur is. I know, right? you know. Oof! Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 That's the power of 10. Sends Evans and in. Oh. Oh, some up, back body drop. Big strength right there by the big man. 10 stringing oh. together, some impressive oh. offense, but... Oh, no. Wait, what? Evan what? with the boot up in the face. No, no, no. Oh! <laughs> big, big spine buster by number 10. Evans on the outside. Oh, swinging a miss. Kick. Knocks 10 back towards center. The spear. Oh! oh. 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 Whoa. What? The spear Dude. out of midair. And oh, wow. Damn, man. How the heck did Jack kick? How did he kick out of that? Jack Evans. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to talk to Tony at the thing. Wait, hold on oh, a second. Oh. He's got a full Nelson just, here. <laughs> He's got the full Nelson locked in. And what? Look at that. No, who is that? That's Angelico. Why is he here? Why is he here? Oh, and Helico just ate the pump kick. Right, no. Oh, no, low blow. I'm coming, low I'm coming, ten. I'm low blow. Ten. You gotta stay here. You gotta stay here, man. You gotta stay here. You can't. You gotta be a professional about this. Even though there was Come a low on. blow. Oh, don't yell at the kid. Come, Come on, jeez. Don't be shut up, Taz. Yeah, don't no, shut up, Excalibur. Shut up, Excalibur. You mean bastard, you. Watch out here. Language. Stop. I'm sorry. Stop. Hold on. Oh, oh. Phoenix Splash. Oh. Oh. Evans oh, at the Phoenix Splash. Two. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Man, that was close. Why is it Helico involved? The oh, last. Very sketchy. Last possible oh, moment for the oh. kick out for number 10. Oh, and he's got the yeah, full Nelson yeah, locked yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, oh. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, he is ragdolling yeah. Evans. You are not kidding. Look Jack Evans is fading fast. He might be done. Evans and is ten. done. Oh, he's bleeding. Big blood. Wow. I think oh, wait, actually that's... the blood is, yeah, from the mouth. Match. Dark of, order number 10. Of 10. He's got busted open pretty bad right there. So it's either lost a tooth. Or maybe a nose. Or a nose. He might have broke his nose. Definitely a lot of, uh, well, a big we'll victory. Later, he said he'll be all right, nigga. Well, don't worry about Bye. it. He's a tough guy. He'll be good. I'm going to see him. Okay, all right. go ahead, buddy. It's a lot of blood right there. So that, you're right. It could be the nose. Definitely could be the no, or it could be the mouth. Though. Let's see here. This is, well, this is the Look full Nelson. This. Yeah, the, the full Nelson. As 10 picks up a impressive victory via referee stoppage, much to the delight of negative one. Stitches in his future. Well, thank you everyone for joining us here tonight on AEW Dark. Coming up tomorrow, 8, 7 central on TNT, the St. Patrick's Day Slam edition of AEW Dynamite. John Moxley and Eddie Kingston team up to take on the Good Brothers, Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson. Cody Rhodes will be in action going one-on-one -on -one with Penta El Cerro Miedo. 
A huge 10-man tag team matchup is Matt Hardy and his client's private party in the Butcher and the Blade. Of course, Bunny will be there as well. Take on Bear Country and Jurassic Express. And for the first time ever, an unsanctioned lights out match on Dynamite. Thunder Rosa versus Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. All of that and so much more tomorrow night, 8, 7 central on TNT, AEW Dynamite. For myself, Excalibur, for Taz, for Justin Roberts, for everybody in the truck. Good night, everybody.